we're going to do a, a quick uh, laser cutting uh, 101 with the LaserCAD software and this is just enough to uh, get you started. In order to get going with the LaserCAD software you'll need to have a, an account on this uh, computer and, and you'll want to get somebody to set you up with that and, 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 and a general checkout to make sure that you can show uh, a uh, basic level of competency with the laser cutter and, and after you've got that account you're uh, you're good to go so you'll uh, you'll find your name in the in the list here and uh, there's me Mike T and I'm gonna sign in with my password and on the desktop here we've got uh, the laser CAD software and uh, we're gonna just to give a just a brief introduction this is the laser CAD software that is used to download your designs into the laser cutter. I'm going to show how to use the tool to make an ellipse and download that into the cutter. We'll pick the ellipse from the palette over here. And I'll try to get something about an inch or 25 millimeters in size. The size is indicated up here. This is in millimeters. So we've got our ellipse over here. On, now we draw your attention over to this area, the, the layers. This uh, ellipse is, uh, is, is one layer drawn in black and uh, we want to do a cut for this. And every cut is characterized by a speed. This is how fast the laser head moves and then a power. How much power we're giving to the, uh, to the laser to make the cut. The maximum power that uh, we have currently set up in this machine is 45% and that equates to a tube current of 16 milliamps which uh, according to the manufacturer gives us a, a good chance of tube longevity. To change these settings we'll double click here. I think for this cut I'm going to choose a power of 25 percent the maximum power and we'll leave speed at 5. Okay. Now we're set up to download our design to the laser cutter itself from the software PC click download and then click download document and that'll send this digital file to the controller and what you want to listen for you'll hear this on the video is that we should get a beep from the actual controller that indicates that this got downloaded so that's the beep we wanted to hear and uh, now we're done with the uh, with the software and then we come over to We come over to the laser controller and on the front panel here you'll see the object that you just downloaded. What's called the magic block to, uh, to get the right uh, focal height onto your material so that you get the maximum uh, uh, cutting power. You take the magic block, put it on top of the material that you're looking to cut and then you use the two buttons here, the gray ones on the controller to adjust the, the bed height so that the top of the magic block is about in the middle of this the air screw doodad thing right here and uh, if you follow that along you're about in, in the middle and then you've got the maximum uh, cutting power on your material so now you take the magic block away and uh, the next uh, activity you can do without, with the door, probably with the, uh, the door open because you're not going to be doing any uh, laser cutting. But uh, what you want to do is, uh, is establish on the material where you're going to be doing your, your cut, and in this case our oval. And to do that, you want to establish what's called the origin. And so you move, you use the the XY controls here, the, the blue arrows, to get the laser head uh, where you want it. And this is going to be represented, see that dot right here that I'm pointing at? That is uh, where the laser cutter is referencing to. The next thing you do is you press the origin button. And now you want to find out whether your cut is going to go inbounds and where you want it on your material. You can learn that by pressing the box button, and it's 
I'm not going to do any laser cutting right now, but what it's going to do is give you a preview of the area that will be cut. And if you're happy with that, then you're ready to uh, start cutting. Now we're going to close the door slowly and carefully. And we come back over to the laser controller here and to get the cutting started we're going to press the green start button. And uh, we're going to watch this uh, carefully making sure no fire happens and uh, we'll also take a look at the tube current here. In this case it went up to 8.3 milliamps so we're well within the 18 milliamps and the cut's done. What I like to do at this stage is to wait a few seconds to let the, the building exhaust pull any smoke that is uh, inside the cabinet. So we've waited for a bit. I don't see any smoke now. now we open up the uh, door and see how the uh, see how the cut went. So one thing I see here, in, in this case, the uh, we didn't get a cut through the uh, through the material, and so in that case, you uh, you probably want to set a, a higher power to uh, to get right through. You can see it almost cut through, but uh, but not quite. So we're we're going to uh, I'm going to try again. And uh, you'll, you'll find that this is a bit of uh, a bit of trial and error, and uh, and that's one you can see I'm using scrap pieces here, and uh, you can use scrap pieces to try to get an idea on uh, on on how well your cutting's going. So it's probably a good idea to start with a lower power than you think you have on a on a, on a, on a scrap piece of material, and get uh, get a feel for what you need to uh, to do to do cutting. You, you don't want to throw too much power at it. Um, because then you run the risk of uh, scorching your material and then also um, more chance of uh, setting a fire if you're cutting with too much power. So, close, close the door here. Um, I'm going to come back to the software and I'm going to set a higher power. I'm going to go from 25 up to 35. Download. And I'm going to do, I'm going to go to where I, I want it to cut. And uh, right there, right there looks good. I'm going to set the origin. I'm pretty confident about the uh, where it's going to cut, so I'm going to press start. And I can see the tube current is 12 milliamps on average, so we've got some more. And the cut's done. <laughs> we got more smoke that time. It looks like there was uh, more cutting power. I'm going to wait a little bit. And uh, we'll take a look. And uh, we cut through this time, and there's our uh, there's our laser cutting 101 piece.